You've probably seen the case of the Murdoch murders all over the news lately, so let's talk about that. For over 80 years, the Murdoch family has been well known in South Carolina as three generations have basically controlled the local prosecutor's office. The Murdoch family has a legal dynasty, and because of this, some people think they're untouchable. So let's start a bit toward the beginning. The specific branch of the Murdoch family that we're going to be talking today involves, from left to right, Buster, Maggie, Paul, and Alex Murdoch. In 2019, 19-year-old Paul Murdoch was on a boat with six other people. He was the one driving, and everyone was drinking. The boat crashed into a bridge, and everyone fell overboard. Five people were accounted for, but not 19-year-old Mallory Beach, who ended up dying. Paul was indicted on charges of boating under the influence, causing great bodily harm, and causing death in connection to the crash. He pled not guilty, and it was likely that because of his family connections, he would get away with it on a lesser sentence than if your average person did it. This likely caused a great amount of stress for the Murdoch family, particularly Alex. He was a prominent lawyer, and any negative eyes on his family's name would make him look bad. And then on June 7th, 2021, something bizarre happened. 53-year-old Alex Murdoch called 911 and reported that his son Paul and 52-year-old wife Margaret were shot dead on his property. He had supposedly just got home and found them like that. Both victims were said to have multiple wounds from being shot multiple times. But following his wife and son's death, Alex Murdoch would act a bit strangely. You see, just a couple months later, on September 3rd of 2021, Alex resigned from his law firm. Now, it was his law firm, his name was in the title. It's pretty bizarre to just resign without reason. But just the next day, Alex would call 911 to report that he had been shot in the head. He had been stopped by the side of the road or something, and somebody just shot him randomly. However, the wound was superficial and didn't cause any long-term severe damage. And just two days later, Alex's attorney announced that he would be entering rehab. And then the next day, the law firm that he worked at announced that he had been embezzling lots of money. Some insider said that it could be in the millions of dollars. Alex's license to practice law was suspended following this. It was revealed on Tuesday, September 14th that authorities had charged a man in Alex's shooting. Alex Murdoch had actually asked a man named Curtis Edward Smith to purposely shoot him in the head. This was in the hopes that Alex would die and the life insurance would go to his remaining son, Buster. Do you think this has any connection to the murders of Paul and Maggie? Did Alex kill them and was trying to take his own life? Or is this all just some strange coincidence? 